researchers in London say they have successfully treated a man who had been living with HIV and may have even cured him. The patient, a British man who prefers to remain anonymous, was diagnosed with HIV in 2003 and advanced Hopkins lymphoma in 2012. He received a stem cell transplant from a donor with a rare mutation and also underwent chemotherapy. And now the man has been free of HIV for 18 months without drugs to fight the infection. The case was reported by scientists in a study published in the journal Nature. According to the group of scientists, led by an Indian origin researcher, Professor Ravindra Gupta, the patient was treated with stem cell transplants from donors carrying a genetic mutation that prevents expression of an HIV receptor, CCR5. CCR5 is the most commonly used receptor by HIV-1. People who have mutated copies of the CCR5 are resistant to the HIV-1 virus strain that uses this receptor as the virus cannot enter host cells. This is only the second instance in history when scientists have been able to essentially cure a patient infected with HIV. We were presenting the uh, second example of uh, sustained remission from HIV um, uh, in a case where an individual has been transplanted with cells that are resistant to HIV um, for the purpose of treating the cancer, uh, termed an allogeneic stem cell trans transplant. The case report comes 10 years after the first such case known as the Berlin patient. In 2007, Timothy Ray Brown was treated using HIV-resistant bone marrow cells. Brown was HIV positive and also developed leukemia when he was 40 years old. Both Brown and the London patient were given bone marrow transplant from donors who were known to have a genetic mutation that prevents the most common strain of HIV from latching on to their immune cells making them naturally resistant to infection. Doctors treating both patients essentially replaced their immune cells with mutated donor cells. Notable differences were that the Berlin patient was given two transplants and underwent total body irradiation, while the UK patient received just one transplant and less intensive chemotherapy. Both patients experienced mild graft versus host disease which may have also played a role in the loss of HIV-infected cells. Okay, in my case, my case is important because, uh, because it proves that HIV can be cured. Um, and uh, how, how it's cured is um, totally up to the um, brilliant scientists that are work, medical scientists who are working for H an HIV cure. Um, and uh, I think that um, in the near future, hopefully, um, that uh, that methods will be come, come up that can be applied to everyone who has HIV, HIV. However, the researchers caution that the approach is not appropriate as a standard HIV treatment due to the toxicity of chemotherapy, although it offers hope for new treatment strategies that might eliminate HIV altogether. Bone marrow stem cell transplants are very complicated, they're very expensive and they're very risky. Um, in effect, they can kill you if they go wrong. Um, so this isn't translatable to a wide population of people. What it does mean though is that scientists can explore this avenue, this genetic mutation, and focus on that as a potential cure in the future. Based on two successful treatment cases, researchers are now considering several approaches to eliminate HIV from the human body. One option is gene therapy, which can modify the CCR5 gene in a person if they are not born with it. Although scientists say modifying a gene exactly the way we like it and in the right cells is extremely difficult. It is also possible that if a wrong gene is modified, it can lead to untoward and potentially deadly effects. But the apparent cure of a second person after undergoing a bone marrow transplant has rekindled confidence that scientists will be able to harness that therapy and help potentially millions of others in future. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV.